everyone, Desiree, and I am here with Birch Press Design, and we are going to take the Kinsley Heart Plate Layering Die Set, and we're going to use it differently, basically, to the point. So you can see you've got your three different layers here, as always. This is, uh, the plates are the size of four and a quarter by five and a half, so they will fill um, the front of a standard A2 size card base. And you can see each layer, as always, is unique. They're a little bit more unique so that they can work on their own. So what we're going to do is I've chosen my colors. Um, so to fall into the Valentine's theme, I kind of thought of uh, milk chocolate covered cherries. So these are the colors that we kind of went with. Now what I'm doing here, I'm taking the top layer, layer A, and I'm trimming it in certain spots of the plate. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lay the other two on top of each other, the cream and the chocolate. That's what we're just going to go with with those colors there. And we're going to put them together, but you can see that red is, is separated. Now, what I had showed earlier for the, what I used for the top of my glue bottle there with those fine points is actually a knitting needle tip protector. Yes, I found those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they ruined my stash. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so you can see we're layering this up and now we've got those three individual pieces. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take those pieces and I'm going to layer them onto the two large ones. Now, once I have the first one glued down, I'm going to cut that. So basically what you're taking is you're taking a layering die set. That's a full plate of the full front of your card. You're going to cut it in different ways. So from one layering die set that you make, you're going to get three different cards. Um, and just using that one. Now to do this, you are cutting through three layers of cardstock. So depending upon the cardstock that you use, if it's a thicker, if it's 110 pound for each layer, you're going to need a strong pair of scissors. And I do recommend a pair of long shears. Um, you know, it, they can be the Tim Holtz. They can be, you know, Fiskars makes a really long one. Tonic also makes another really long pair that are really good and sharp. So does Spellbinders from Fun, Fun Stamper's Journey. So it does need to be strong because you really are cutting through those layers. So these are the three panels that we have. They're each unique. While it's the same pattern, they all look very different. Now, what I also pulled out is the uh, Birch Press Design Love Die, um, and it is the Honey Script. And with this, it comes with the what I call the cloud background, um, and then, of course, the sentiment. So I chose the, the dark brown color that I've been using in the panel for the sentiment and vellum in the back. Now I'm just grabbing a piece of cream cardstock. This is by Stampin' Up! And I'm just cutting that down to different sizes. I am not being particular. I'm really not measuring. I'm using my trimmer for a straight edge um, to get that. So I have a panel. If I look at the cards, which of course are not near me right now. Oh, here they are. So if I look at the panels, and if you hear that sound in the background, I apologize, it's an alarm going off. Now it's done. Um, so I've created just to have a focal point so that it had a quarter of an inch around the one panel. Um, I have another panel cut four to five and a quarter, and then I have another panel that was cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So here I'm just putting the sentiment onto the vellum and then setting those aside, and then we will set up our standard A2 size card bases. Again, remember, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, some of these are going to be top folding, and some of these will become side folding. Um, I do have my card bases pre-cut, um, and I keep a stack of those off to the side, and what I do is I always cut them to be four and a quarter by 11. 
And then as I need my card bases, I just score it at five and a half and then fold them in half. So I do lean towards the top folding card. Um, it's just preference. I don't know why. It's just something that I kind of gravitated to. So you can see that once we have our sentiments together, now we're just layering our different panels onto our card fronts. I think this is a great idea. Um, one, it stretches your layering guys. We just don't have to use them to cover the full front. We can cut them up. We can cut them up on an angle. We can cut out squares from them. We can do all of these different things with those layering guys and they would make absolutely great, you know, note sets for somebody for a gift um, or creating your own note cards. Uh, because I do believe snail mail is going away very quickly. Um, I, you know, again, I like the fact that I have these available. Am, am I a mailer? No. Um, but I do enjoy, you know, if I want to thank somebody that did something for me here, I do like to real quick grab um, a card, a note card, and just to say thank you in there. Um, so you can see I just placed that down. I didn't even measure it. So these are what the cards look like. Now, what I did was you can see I added glossy accents to the sentiment. I added, um, before I put the glossy accents on, I added um, my Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen. I saw that on uh, Jennifer McGuire did that, you know, because then you get the sparkle that's underneath. So it's really, really pretty. Um, and it works really well. At least it did for me. Um, so again, you get three cards. I also added some clear crystal gems, which will take on the color of the cardstock that I'm putting it on. So they became burgundy or that deep cherry red. So again, look at your, look at your items that are in your stash and see how they can adapt see how they can be adapted. So again, showed you another way just to how you can use a plate layering die set by Birch Press Design. And of course, yes, this is one of my design team projects. Um, and I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some tips and tricks for how you can look what's in your stash or how you can look at any of the Birch Press design plates that you may have in your stash. As always, all the products that I use will be listed down below um, if you want to check them out. Um, remember, there are some affiliate links. And again, when you click on those affiliate links, um, at no extra cost to you, I do receive a small commission. I hope everyone's having a great day, enjoying the new year um, as best as we can, but we can always smile through anything. Enjoy your day and always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative. Till next time, guys. Take care.